In 2011, it was just Mike and I for a few years until we met our very first employee who was a dad and we weren't parents at the time. And so to have somebody on our team who was a father of two just made a huge impact on us in regards to ensuring they had a strong work-life balance. And we were fully remote. We've been fully remote the whole time. Like I mentioned, I was in San Jose. Mike was in San Francisco. This person was in Portland. And then we moved around a bunch. So we've been remote since day one. And it's very easy when you're remote and the rest of the world is in person to work too much. And we were working way too much, checking emails at 8, 10 o'clock at night, trying to go to bed after that, which is not a good idea. And we put our foot down probably six months into working with this person and said, we can't, this is unsustainable, especially for somebody who's a dad. And so we need to have some boundaries around our work-life balance. And we need to do that as soon as humanly possible for all of our sanities. And we put a stake in the ground and made sure that was always the case. So we don't care. We're across four time zones now. There's about 12 of us. And I always say, I don't care what your working hours are, but they have to be consistent so we can plan accordingly. And they can be, as long as you, your day, your, they don't have to be the same every single day, but it needs to be consistent every single week. And that really opens up the flexibility for people who have kids, who are morning people like myself, who operate differently than the normal nine to five. And it's been really crucial that we've had that from day since we've hired this person. And in that we've instilled all of our systems and processes to back it up. So we, because we work with a lot of B2B tech companies, we've adopted the agile framework. If you've heard of Scrum and agile, yeah. we do sprint planning, we do standups and we do retrospectives. And part of that is something called velocity. So instead of time, everybody loves a good time sheet. They're the worst. Yep. So instead of time tracking, we actually plan ahead. We use velocity to say, how much time does everybody have every week? What needs to get done? And how do we marry those two things together, thinking ahead versus looking behind? And so in doing that, we can really ensure that people only work seven hours a day and what percent of that is actually billable versus internal meetings we want to have, coffee chats we want to plan for, those sort of things that allows us to really naturally, without a huge lift, ensure that work-life balance all the time. And that allows us to not only be there for our employees and ensure that they do the best work that they possibly can for their clients, but it also allows us to set boundaries with clients. If you want something done in the next week, we need to have it by Thursday. If you need us to do something that things come up all the time, absolutely no problem then we need to push something. So what is it that we're going to push? And so it allows us to really set those clear expectations with clients, which they love. They're like, thank you. Thank you for being able to plan ahead and think ahead so that we can easily agile and maneuver with these things that pop up while also making sure we hit deadlines and you're not over-promising on something you're not delivering on. So that's really where that people first has come into the company, which has helped both the team and the clients and one of our differentiators a moment. Absolutely. I love that. Being able to manage the unknown unknowns, like people just fail consistently to expect them even, and yet they happen every week in, week out. And when they do happen, it's a crisis every time. And I've always, I've developed my own sort of style of working around those unknown unknowns and making sure there's enough buffer time built into each day, but then that there are that not you don't get them every single day. So then having things online that you can just get on with when the unknown unknowns happily don't appear, it's nice to know that you're still working productively. Okay, so to move on then, one of the things that I'm going to be asking quite regularly of our marketing guests 